Mods and rockers were two conflicting British youth subcultures in the early to mid-1960s to early 1970s. Media coverage of mods and rockers fighting in 1964 sparked a moral panic about British youth, and the two groups became widely perceived as violent, unruly troublemakers. The mod soap culture was centred on fashion and music, and many rode around on scooters. Mods also wore suits and other clean-cut outfits. They listened to 1960s music genres such as soul, rhythm and blues, ska, beat music and British blues-rooted bands like the Yardbirds, the Small Faces and the Who, who wrote an evocative portrait of the cultures within their 1973 album Quadrophenia. Mods famously rode around on scooters. Italian Lambrettas and Vespers were the models of choice. They customised them with chrome and all types of accessories. This Lambretta model can be seen in the museum. Rocker subculture was centred on motorcycling and their appearance reflected that. Rockers generally wore protective clothing such as black leather jackets and motorcycle boots and were occasionally wearing brothel trooper shoes. Their style was heavily influenced by Marlon Brando in the Wild Farm. The most common rocker hairstyle was a pompadour, while their music genre of choice was 1950s rock and roll, played by artists including Eddie Cochran, Gene Vincent and Bo Diddley. This is a typical rocker style leather jacket at the museum. They were heavily decorated with studs, pin badges and patches. A white scarf was also an essential accessory. The defining rocker motorbike was the Triton, with custom-made Norton featherbed frame and Triumph Bonneville engine. Other favourite brands were BSA, Royal Enfield and Matchless. Clashes between mods, rockers and the police came to a head during the August bank holiday weekend of 1964. This followed outbreaks of disorder at Clacton, Margate, Brighton and Bournemouth during the Easter and Whitson bank holidays that year. 403 reinforcement officers were drafted in from Sussex, Kent and the Metropolitan Police to deal with the influx of young people. 66 were arrested over the course of the weekend as stones were thrown, benches appended and seafront lighting broken.